In this video, we enable background password entry for Windows 10 login, and solve the mystery of the option being unavailable for some. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we configure Windows 10 to automatically enter our password, allowing users confident in their machine's physical security to bypass the login process. We first covered this topic two years ago, but our computer build this weekend threw up a new phenomenon, where the option we'd always relied upon was no longer available, so we also walk through overcoming that hurdle for those of you missing the required tick box. We begin by clicking the start menu, and typing netplwiz, before pressing enter, or clicking to run. The main netplwiz dialog appears, hopefully you'll see a tick box labelled users must enter a username and password to use this computer. If you don't see it, you'll need to keep watching as we set out the steps required to enable it. If you do see the tick box, you need to untick it. Having unticked, we click apply, prompting the appearance of this box, in which we need to enter the password we typically use to log into Windows, and we'll need to enter it a second time by way of confirmation, before again clicking apply. The dialog now clears. When we restart our machine, we no longer need to enter our password, and are immediately taken to our desktop. But what if the tick box is unavailable? This issue only appears in certain setups, and to remedy it, we'll need to edit the registry. We therefore once again click start, before typing regedit to launch the registry editor, pressing enter, or clicking to run. By default, user account control will challenge this request, and we can either simply click yes to proceed, or follow the steps from the tutorial shown on screen now, to permanently suppress all future messages of this type. We now arrive at the main registry editor window. Although we're making an incredibly minor tweak here, even tiny errors in the registry can have significant consequences, and it remains good practice to back up the registry prior to making changes, either by heading to file, then export, before navigating to a location in which to save the file, or alternatively by creating a system restore point. We need to navigate to the entry shown on screen now. You may wish to copy the location from our written description, and paste it directly into the navigation bar, or it can be accessed by in turn navigating to HKEY LOCAL MACHINE, SOFTWARE, MICROSOFT, and then we need to scroll all the way down to Windows NT, then current version, before scrolling again to passwordless, then finally device. In many systems, this key will not be present, and these systems typically experience no issues with NetPLWiz. We've switched machines to show you an example of where the key is present. Where the key is present, we look to the right panel, and double click on device passwordless build version. The value on affected machines will be set to 2, and we amend that value to 0 before clicking OK, then exiting the registry editor. Now when we rerun NetPLWiz as shown at the start of the tutorial, the tick box should be available, and we can follow the steps previously mentioned to enable password free login. If you'd like to do the same on a Mac, we've also published a tutorial dealing with automatic login on macOS, you'll find details in the description. Be sure to check out our back catalogue, and subscribe for our future projects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.